performances for comparison's sake. We are off, and Caitlin Tui, like we expected, out hard from the get-go. Bree Oakley holds the national record at 15.55. 25 laps. Puts us at 38. That's what the announcer was just saying. 38s are what we're looking for from Caitlin Tui. If she stays under 38, she stays under the national record pace. And this record has been broken each of the last seven years. Mm -hmm. And one, you can say that that's because it's not run that often. But two, let's be real, girls running is on a whole other level this year, uh, exactly. or in the past. And Caitlin Tui is looking to add her name to this record book. 72 seconds. So definitely under. The big thing is, though, this is 25 laps. This is no two mile. So it's really going to be that second and third mile where she has to kind of grind by herself. We can also play the over under on how many times she laps the entire field. <laughs> That's a dangerous game to play. Actually, uh, on our podcast when Nolan was getting, sorry, uh, Run the Schools podcast, just needed to plug that real quick. <laughs> um, it would be remiss if I didn't. No, we asked Nolan how many laps he would need of head start to beat Caitlin Tui in a 5K on an indoor track. And he said if he ran a two mile and she ran a 5K, they might be even. They might be even. <laughs> might be even. So I'm saying we could make that happen. This is what track. I say nowadays when people ask whether I still run. I say no, I, I watch people. <laughs> it's, it's like what I do theory. professionally. Yeah. But Caitlin Tui coming up on 800 meters. <laughs> 226. That's 450, 452 mile pace. Just to put that into perspective. And Caitlin Tui. I mean, Still under national record pace. Well under it. I mean, the big thing is can Caitlin Tui hang on? Because she went out super hard in her. American record attempt at the 3K and faded just a little bit. Ran about, I think it was two, it's 557 through 2K, mm -hmm. faded just a little bit. So is she going to leave her enough, herself enough time to be able to kind of hang on? 303, she's well, still well under national record pace. Tui already making her way through lap traffic. Still 20 laps for her to go. <laughs> 340, under 340. So she is on low 15s pace, not high 15s pace here. She is looking just so smooth right now. She wants to be about 425 or faster here at the next lap. And she's at 416, 417. It's safe to say she's running a little bit faster than, than national record pace. And just looking, once again, just so under control. And that's been the name of the game for her. It's just running so fast but so under control in every single race and a lot of people will say oh well she's running all by herself but that's what she's been doing all season i mean she hasn't had anyone with her in a single race right. and has still been able to shatter records all around new york and the nation are you prepared for context uh, yes how many girls broke five for the mile yesterday it was one 
454 for Caitlin <laughs> Tui at 1600 meters on her way to 5K. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be something special. She's a machine. She has now lapped the entire field once, I believe. And it's not like this field's going slow. Nope. Caitlin Wolf, an amazing runner in her own right, was uh, state runner up in in four A. And I'm going to admit that I've lost all perspective on everybody else in the race except Caitlin Tui right here. And I, I apologize to anybody else who's in this race. So I believe I believe Caitlin Wolf was in second coming through in 5.33, which is really fast. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. 5.33 is low 17's pace for a 5K. But the story is Caitlin Tui just crushing it right now. Tui still well under national record pace. Comfortably under national record pace. 608 through 2K. That's going to be 1520 pace mm -hmm. if she holds on. And just to get a real clear perspective, the pace should put her at almost exactly seven minutes her next lap around. And so we'll get a feel for just how far under the pace she is. Still rolling past lap traffic. She's supposed to be at seven right here. She's at 645. At this point, I'm just writing numbers down on a piece of paper. They don't mean anything. I, I, I'm trying to like calculate splits and it's I'm just in awe right now. She is, there's a lot of race left to run, but right now she looks poised to shatter this record. All I can do is keep adding one lap pace time every lap so I can see what the next one is supposed <laughs> yeah. to be, and then she keeps being faster than that. That's, that's all, I, still, we're just, yeah. all I can do. Just in awe of the performance of Caitlin Tui so far. She has room to fall off pace and still break the national record. This is true. Supposed to be above 7.30 here. She's at 7.23, so she is still well ahead of national record pace. Halfway point. Halfway point is coming up in... When she hits, when she hits the curve, she will be at the halfway point, 7:41, which is 15:22 pace. So, national record again. Just in case you don't remember, 15:55. She's on 15:22. I, th I think we said it a lot, and we're, we're yeah. <laughs> so we're we're just trying to wrap our heads around the spectacle of what we're seeing right here. Caitlin Tui establishing her credentials as arguably the best ever. 8:01 coming through. I think she's getting a little bit faster. I'm not clocking her splits. She, I'm just comparing her against the 38.2 that she's supposed to be on right. every lap. I feel like she's actually getting a bigger gap against that pace and, as and that's, they go on. And that's the thing too is that even if she's starting to slow her pace, if she is still running under 38.2, that gap will be yep. widening. But I think she's actually improving her margin on she the might national be, record honestly. pace. Eight thirty eight to eight thirty nine. She was supposed to be at eight fifty four for national record pace. So she is way under the pace right now. Looking for roughly nine thirty three this time around to give you some perspective on where she is. She is at 9.16. So she's 17 seconds under pace right now. And just, and once again, looking very, very smooth she right really now. She really does. Coming up on two miles the next time around. 10.11 is national record pace for 3,200. And of course, 10.11 would be US number one for 3,200. And they are recording these splits along the way, so. Oh, she's going to break a lot. Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. No, no. It's U.S. It's number one in route if they allow that. She's under 10. One. 
53, 9, 54. 9, 54 at 3,200 meters. And that was a five flat mile too, so it was. FAT, 9, 54, 28 at 3,200 meters. Just continuing. This is just absolutely incredible what we're seeing here. I just don't have words to describe this. Just continuing to just drive her legs. She's going to be coming up on one mile to go, and that's going to be, that's really going to get us, in my mind, a really clear picture of what she truly is doing. Because these splits, you know, they make sense, but 10.32, which means that she needs to run a 5.23 last mile to break the record. And she's been doing that with ease. That's 80 second laps. 80, or 80 second 400s. 40 second 200s. And she's been running well under that. And to put this in perspective, she is in the U.S top four all time in the 3200 en route to a 5K. This is absolutely insane. I, I, I'm have, I don't know what to do at this point. 5K world best, 15-17. The world best, 15-19, number two. And then it's 15-37. She's working on number three in the world for all ages right now. And just to put that in perspective, the NCAA champ is the is second in the world right now. Wendy Kaladi, who held this record two years ago, is world number three. And she, if she closes hard, could be looking at. She is coming back to the pace a little bit right now. So we're seeing some fatigue, but she's still about 16 seconds under. Running unbelievable right now. I just can't get over 954 for 3,200 meters in route to a 5K. One of the fastest 3,200 meters ever run in U.S. history. Bree Oakley ran 953 in an all-out 3,200. It's unbelievable. And they're saying she's coming up on 1,000 meters to go. 1226. 1226, which. It's going to put her at 15.33. If she holds that pace and she, in all honesty, looks to be kind of ratcheting it up. And at this point, it's just tough to tell her pace because she's just running at such an unbelievable clip. Right. She needs to be in the ballpark of 13.20 coming around this next lap to be on target for the 15.55. <laughs> oh, oh, I think she's going to be there. I think she's going to be good. The national record is gone, folks, unless something catastrophic happens. The only question is, how stunningly huge is this new record going to be? I mean, we're talking about not just beating the national record, but we're talking about putting it on a whole new level on another planet right now. And the thing is, it's it, when she breaks, if she breaks this record, we'll just say if because it hasn't happened yet. It's, hap it's happened eight years in a row. And so, in my mind, the only person who's going to be able to break this record next year is her. And will she be able to repeat exactly. this performance? This is... Tui is supposed to be at 14 flat. And is sitting at 13.43. She is 17 seconds under national, national record pace. She's got 600, just under 600 meters to go. And the crowd is growing right now. Everyone is applauding. It doesn't matter which event you're running. We got some people who are getting ready to take the track for some 4x2s yep. just in awe right now because this, this is historic. And anytime you run a, a, a national record, obviously it's never been done before, right? But Supposed this. to run 116.5 for 400. And you can do the math right here. She's coming to 400 to go. <laughs> She's got to run a 90. <laughs> This is unbelievable. If she keeps this pace up, she she's looking at running under 1540. Yes. 1537 is number three in the world right now. 1537, number three in the world in the IAAF rankings. That is not high school. That is not junior. That is in the world. 
15-37. This is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. One lap to go for Caitlin Tui. Strap in, here we go. 15, 15 flats. <laughs> What's she gonna run? It's just a matter of how fast she's gonna go. Everyone is on their feet right now. This is truly historic. We've, you've known her name all year, but now there is no doubt. This is unbelievable, transcendent. Caitlin Tui, the shattering, <laughs> destroying the American high school record. We need to look up American junior records and see where she stands here. We're not prepared Consider for this. Consider the record books rewritten. 15.37. That is just, just off. That's number four in the world. In number the four. world. Senior girls, senior women. Senior women, number four in the world right now for high school junior Caitlin Tui from New York. Our hat is off to you, Caitlin. That is an all-time. This is the kind of performance that people will say, where were you when you saw exactly. this time? And I personally just feel blessed that I got to call this. And th I mean, this is a facility making performance here. You know, I mean, they quite literally can have collegiate and professional races here, and they may not ever exceed that time. You in the are, five you're entirely, I mean, I mean, the bar has been set across the nation for yeah. any. The any NCAA race. champion, currently number two in the world. Caitlin Tui, a high school junior, currently number four in the world. Unbelievable. The former American record holder, Wayne Kalati, number three in the world right now. Caitlin Tui, number four in the world right now. And the craziest thing is she's not done. No, nope. she's got four years of high school. <laughs> this is just truly remarkable. Hats off to her coach, hats off to, to everyone involved with that because an athlete of that caliber, I mean, to be able to kind of develop that kind of talent is truly impressive. and. I mean, and we're talking about Caitlin Tui, and everybody else is still racing, and it's 17-15. I mean, this is a fantastic high school 5K You're pace right. for everybody else here. I mean, how often have we seen 5Ks where we're talking about mid-18s for the winning time? Yes. You know, and Tui's been done, and we've had a whole conversation about it, and it's 17:30. Unbelievable. <laughs> I, I, I believe that's Caitlin Wolf. Absolutely mind-blowing. Caitlin Wolf Caitlin coming, Wolf coming, coming around now. Caitlin Wolf, 17.50, under 17.50 for her. Which is an unbelievable That's time. That's a phenomenal <laughs> time for Caitlin Wolf. And we've had over two minutes to discuss that. I mean, it's. I mean, just to put Wolf's performance in perspective, in the mile split database all time, 36 girls have ever broken 17 in the high school in the 5K. She just ran in 1740s. And she got beaten by two minutes by Tui. Just phenomenal. Hats off to Caitlin Wolf. That was a phenomenal performance it was by her. Very well done. Yeah. Don't let it be overshadowed by a transcendent talent in Caitlin Tui. That lived up to its there. Absolutely. There we go. Now we do. We, be we begin hype beasted all all year by Nolan about this race. And <laughs> I mean, that did it. Like, like we, had, we, we had three national records. Yep. Highlight Nolan highlight. tried very hard to get Claudia Lane to come oh and run in this race. And as we mentioned earlier, she opted to go with the international cross country race, which was just uh, last weekend right. instead. So that's where her fitness direction went. Now she's also a junior. You know, so we still have another whole year and a half <laughs> of both Caitlin Tui and Claudia Lane. Let me remind you that Claudia Lane's all-time best in the 3200 is 957. And Caitlin Tui ran 954 en route to the 5K Un today. Unbelievable. So, you know, as much as I'm a huge Claudia Lane fan, I've been a fan of her since her freshman year when, before she hit the big time in California when she started to show that she was going to break through. Um, one of the best interviews I've ever had in, uh, with Claudia Lane. She's just a fantastic person. And I'm a huge fan, but Claudia Lane is the number two runner in the country right now, and Caitlin Tui's on a whole other level. It's just her. unbelievable. And, and, and like we haven't even talked about it yet. It's January. 